Hey everybody, it's Jenny and I am here today to share with you how I planned in my classic vertical, or I'm sorry, classic vertical size happy planner. I'm using the Coco Daisy classic vertical inserts from the minimalist collection because they're gorgeous. And I'm using these sticker sheets from According to Ally. I'm first gonna date the planner. I wanted to first use those blush Elf or number stickers. However, I decided that I might as well use the lavender ones because they're a little less common and so the opportunities to use them were a little less. So I switched on over to the lavender and added the dates to the top of the planner. Now I'm going to use both of these alcohol ink sticker sets from According to Allie. I meant to do the purple in the two corners, but I just totally forgot. So I'm just going to go rogue and do the two pink, even though I don't really want to. But for the same reasons as the number stickers, they're more common. It's more common to use blush plank than it is lavender, so I wanted to use more of the lavender up in this layout. But it's all right. It's no big deal. We're going forward anyway. And also, when I tried pulling those up, well it was gonna tear the paper. So that's what I had available to me, okay? All right, so you can see we are planning through this week. I am using the box stickers that I used last week sometime, the printables from a pretty planscape on Etsy, and then I am also using the Aloha Stir highlighters. I, this purple color is absolutely gorgeous and completely matches so well. So I'm really super excited about that. So I'm just trying to vary where I put the events that I have pre-planned just so that I have lots of interesting ways to lay out the rest of the activities that pop up during the week and then also additional decor as space allows. So that's why I'm just trying to change it up. Like for instance, I know that I already, on Wednesday I'm putting it in the middle because I'm Monday and Tuesday, I already left the middle section open. So I'm not gonna wanna put more on the middle section for Wednesday. Does that make sense? So on Tuesday, I left those two chunks open so that I have a little bit of room for a wider, bigger section of decorations should that be necessary. I just love, love, love this layout because I love the black hand-drawn hearts and XOs with the alcohol inks. I think it's so very pretty. All right, so we're finishing out through the week. So I'm going not only did I do the first half, but now I'm on the second half and I'm switching the two colors of the Aloha Stir highlighters that I'm using. I'm using both the light pink and then also the lavender as well, just to change it up because I did that with the alcohol ink stickers. So I wanted to do that with the highlighters as well. I am using the same Sharpie pen that I've been using for quite some time now. It's really working out well for me. If you haven't seen it in my other videos, I've talked about this. It's a felt tip pen, much like the Paper Mate Flare, which I ordinarily was using for many, many years. However, it's a little bit finer of a tip, and so that is better because it allows me to, it just is not so chunky, which isn't really a problem, I guess, but I think you get it. So anyway, I am just varying. I'm trying to get the highlighting down for how much text I have to write. It's a guessing game each time, but most of the time I do manage to get it right, but sometimes it's a little bit extra of the highlighter and you know, you gotta just go with it because it's already down on the page. I could use the correcting tape like I tried to already, but it's not the same bright white color and I really only use that if necessary. All right, so now we're back here and it's Monday and let's go ahead and plan it out. I'm going to add the rest of the things as they pop up. So my to-do lists, my activities that creep up like, oh, I don't know, going to the gym or taking a walk or things like that that I wasn't necessarily going to be able to plan in advance, but now I'm able to plan those things because they happened already. Now I'm also going to use the conversation hearts now as well because they are so cute and they just fit perfectly in the small little spaces. I broke out some of the icon stickers you can see right there. I used one of those Co Coffee Monster Co stickers for golfing. I just think they're perfectly adorable and then a little blobby monster that's golfing is just absolutely cute. 
You have the two alcohol inks on Monday, and I think it's really pretty. It just kind of provides a very, very whimsical feel to the second or this first half of the page. Now I'm going to take this stamp from Coco Daisy. It is from the Elegance Blooms collection, and it is a tag, and I'm going to stamp it with this blush color ink from the Stamp Market. This is one of my most used ink pads. I found that lighter color inks really are so very versatile because they can blend in, they can really just become part of the page without standing out a whole lot. Now on top of the stamp, I'm going to do this repeating heart pattern. So that is so pretty and I absolutely love it. And then next I'm going to do this phrase, but first I'm going to break out my purple swatches for my Stamp Market inks because I want to see which of the purple colors I want to use. And so once I've chosen that, I can go ahead and stamp that out right there. I'm using the same method of cleaning my stamps that I have been for a little while, which is to simply spray the stamp with the cleaner and then wipe it off on this microfiber towel. I love it because there's no waste, so I'm not throwing any, away any paper products, and it's hard in a hobby like this where there's so much byproduct. I'm really trying to conserve and be a little bit more friendly and not have so much going into the garbage can. So now I'm just finishing off Wednesday with one more activity. This was a really fun one. My aunt and cousin came for lunch and we spent the afternoon together and it was really such a good time. I'm so glad to have that documented in my planner. Now we can go on to Thursday and I'm gonna add one of those cute little conversation hearts. Aren't they just adorable? So much fun. And then I have one little activity at the bottom right down here. It's a little bit more difficult to write close to the edge at the bottom than I had remembered. It's been a bit since I've done that. And then we're just going to add a tiny little heart right there and a little XOXO. Now what I love about that one is that that heart has a really like hand-drawn look. And then the typography is like a typewriter font. And so it's very opposite. And I love that a lot. Now on Friday, it feels a little bit crammed in there because Thursday and Saturday are sort of overlapping into Friday, but that's kind of intentional because I didn't have a lot of activities for Friday. Friday was pretty pretty quiet. So it was better to have these that overlapped because then they took up more room just naturally. Now I put a tiny little alcohol ink splatter in there and then another conversation heart. It's really just filling up and it's so pretty because there's not too much activity going on because the water, the alcohol inks just don't take up the same visual weight as different full box stickers have in other ones. We took my dogs to the dog beach on Saturday, and oh my gosh, it was just the highlight of my month, probably. It was so much fun. So I've just written the words beach there with a little bit, an extra line so I could color in with the pink right there, and then the tiniest bit of brush lettering up at the top with my pastel flex, oh, what are those pens called? Le Pen, that's right. I knew that they were a very common pen. Le Pen Flex. I really love those nibs, by the way, and they're perfect size for a planner. Now we're just going to add another little icon. A He's a tennis player, but it's about the closest I'm going to get as an icon for pickleball, so that's why I definitely do that. So that's pretty much it for me. Thanks so much for stopping by and watching. I really do appreciate it. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment box below, and I will do my best to get back to you. Thanks so much, and make it a great day.